today we're here with my brother Jesse and it's Series 1 S14 and we'll be changing wheel studs and some stuff. Here's our helping hand. So as you see, Jesse's jacking the car up. We've got to use two because we don't have a low profile one yet, which kind of sucks. And he's already made the mistake of jacking the car up without loosening the wheel nuts. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I guess I can put my foot on the brake if need be. Okay. These are R34 GTR rims. What size are they? They are 18s by 9 and plus 20-ish offset. So they fit pretty well, but today we're going to be putting spacers on. Sit them out a bit nicer. And extended studs. And extended studs. Reason of that. Can't can't really run the spaces and definitely not safely without having the extended wheel studs on them because you need to be able to still get the nut on there. Enough tightness. Tight, tight, mm. tight. Another reason people might change their wheel studs is if these just these studs get cross threaded, so people put these nuts on and they jam them on or use an air ratchet and just screws up all the thread on it and it makes it real difficult to to get on and off really so yeah so to get to extend wheel studs we need to take the brake disc off and do that we gotta take the brake caliper off first so we'll just be undoing the two bolts in the back here yeah. and here yeah. so the reason I'm doing this basically I couldn't drop my car as low as I wanted to because of these collar rings on the coilovers. And as you can see, they've been scraped from the inside of the rim because they stick out just slightly into that rim. And so I can't have the edge of the rim at this level here. I have to have it a bit higher so it misses this. But by putting on the extended wheel studs and the spacers, that should sit it out just a little bit so it can bypass this so I can sit it at about this height here. So the bolts are super tight, obviously haven't been taken off in a while, so we're gonna use WD-40 because what can't it do, right? The bolts are, <laughs> I'd say frozen on there pretty good, so we just got longer bar, got it on there nice and central on the bolt, just gave it a good couple of whacks and just loosened it right up. So now it should be easy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Off comes the brake caliper. We will just try our best to sit that somewhere so it doesn't break anything. Might pierce the brake line. No. Yeah, I think that's alright. This brake disc is rusted on here good, it's frozen in place. It should just slide off there shouldn't be any resistance but it's it's on there good um, normally you can use a technique with a threading a bolt through put a nut on the end of it and twist it and slowly what it does is it'll push it out and break that but I can't seem to find any of that stuff right now so we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way carefully I'm gonna use a hammer and a rag and just try and hit it off There it is. Easy. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit these studs out, but we're gonna do one at a time. All right, just like that. So I got these nice extended wheel studs here just obviously GK Tech got them from local drift import store I'd say and yeah we're gonna put these in now so this is the extended wheel stud this is the new one and you can compare it here to the old one lots of difference easily at least an extra 10 mils on there so I can easily put my 10 mil spaces on there so we're gonna WD-40 these wheel studs and then just 
on the hub where they go in because it just makes them go in smooth like butter and without it before I found out about using WD-40 I would have to get the extra long breaker bar out just to put more torque and more pressure on it to try and pull it through and I ended up snapping multiple studs and I'd, <laughs> I couldn't figure out why it was frustrating and then something as simple as WD-40 I tried using and it's just it's easy. It's like you're sponsored by them almost. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many good things about it. Oh, I love WD-40. It just makes it easy. That and duct tape. And cable ties. Oh, yes. Okay, cable so. ties, duct tape, WD-40. Like, just three essentials. Should always have. <laughs> you can build a car from scratch from it. <laughs> what we want is just use a few washers. I just want to chuck them on there so we're not jamming that nut straight into the base, we want that to be pushing against the washers. Just make it even, won't it? Yes, and it will help put the uh, stud in evenly so the stud's not on an angle like that or, or like that, you know? You want it to come through nice and evenly. It needs it to be flush against the rear. So, as we're tightening this, what it's going to do is pull the rear of it through so it sits flush. What I'll do is put this bar in here because what it will do is it will lock this up and will stop it from moving. Seems we've got no brakes. Yes, because we've got no brakes. So by doing that, it's going to lock up and it won't move. That's why we leave the wheel studs in that um, we want to change for now because we can easily use them to hold it all in place. And I think that's it. And we don't use this breaker bar against the nice new bolts. If we, if we do, which we will need to, we just use a rag and place that against it just so it doesn't wrap it around a few times. Yeah, just so it doesn't take off any of the thread or start to mush it up. Because we don't want that, you know, brand new thread. Keep it nice. So as you can see, we've now got the uh, wheel studs all in. They all look nice. They're all sitting flush. So safe. No un unnecessary stress put on them. And they should last for a long, long time. So yeah, we've mucked around with the height a little bit now but I think we've got it right. It's sitting at about 60 mils from the base of the coil lever. And so, yeah. Thanks for checking us out. We'll see you next time.